Some farmers in the comment section of our videos have been asking me to discuss how to prevent and some organic treatment for egg yolk peritonitis. And if you are a layer farmer, I am quite sure that you may have come across this condition that is called the egg yolk peritonitis or others call it the internal laying. Egg yolk peritonitis or the internal laying is a condition that affects layer chicken and if not treated it can easily lead to death within 24 to 48 hours if it is severe and in this video I want to share with you prevention measures as well as natural treatment to this layer chicken condition but before we get into this video kindly help us to reach a hundred thousand subscribers by making sure that you hit that subscribe button if you have not done so and also hit that bell notification so that you will be notified every time that I post a new video into this channel. Also, if you get to learn from our videos, kindly hit that like button. During the laying process, the yolk is released from the ovary into the oviduct of the hen's reproductive system. But sometimes due to some conditions that I'm going to talk about in this video, the egg yolk can fail to get into the oviduct or the infundibulum and it falls off into the peritoneum or basically into the hen's abdomen. And because the egg is a good place for bacteria to multiply, a bacteria called Escherichia coli usually infects this egg that has fallen into the abdominal cavity which causes inflammation leading to infections and even death if this condition is not handled properly and in good time. But what could make the egg yolk miss to get into the oviduct and fall into the abdomen? There are a few causes and one of them is salpingitis and salpingitis is the inflammation of the oviduct and this inflammation of the oviduct can be due to some bacterial infection and what this inflammation does is that it causes the swelling of this oviduct hence preventing the egg, egg yolk that is produced from the ovary from getting into the reproductive system. The other thing is about obesity. Uh, overfeeding your layer chicken can make them prone to this infection because when there is a lot of fat in the reproductive system of the hen, it can cause the egg to fall into the abdomen. The other thing is the ovarian diseases, for example, the neoplasms or basically the ovarian cancer disease. The other thing is the infection through the cloaca into the oviduct. The cloaca is the part that releases the egg onto the environment or onto the ground during laying and if the laying area is dirty then some bacteria can get into the cloaca and go up and travel into the oviduct which can cause inflammation the most affected chicken are the obese chickens the breeder hens and also the layers that are at the peak of production and now that we know the causes to this disease what are the signs and symptoms that we as farmers can look out for so that we can be able to know that our chicken are suffering from this infection and number one you are going to see yellow colored droppings another thing is that you are going to see a penguin like posture from the affected chicken you are also going to see a lowered tail feathers reluctance to move you're also going to see drooping feathers pale wattles and combs and also the affected chicken will be depressed and will not be able to feed. Curing or treating this condition naturally without using antibiotics is quite difficult unless it is detected at the early stages. And the first prevention measure is about the weight management in the Ualea chicken and also in the breeder chicken. And this is by making sure that you do not overfeed your chickens. Make sure that you give them the right amount of feed. The second prevention measure is 
ensuring that the water is clean and this is because some bacteria can be found in the water and when the egg falls into the abdomen these bacteria then are going to infect this egg and cause this infection the third important prevention measure is about making sure that the chicken house is proof from all types of rodents and this is because rodents shed infective bacteria called the disease causing Escherichia coli or the E. coli and we have seen that one of the major bacteria that can infect an egg when it falls into the peritoneum or the abdomen is this bacteria called Escherichia coli. Fourth important prevention measure is the biosecurity measures. This is by ensuring, for example, by ensuring you clean the drinkers and the waterers and also make sure that you have a food bath at the entry of your poultry house. Also, make sure that you eliminate any kind of stress from your chickens because stress usually cause a suppression in the immunity and this can make the bacteria to you know multiply faster and cause disease in chickens before i give you the organic tre treatments there is something to note in severe cases these organic treatments may not work and if you notice that or your chicken is not responding kindly consult assistance from a vet so there are about three organic treatments that you can use to treat this infection and one of them is the oregano tea and oregano tea can be used in combination or you can use it separately from another type of tea that is the cinnamon tea so you can choose to combine the oregano and the cinnamon tea or if you do not have both of them then you can use one of them and give them to the chicken but the combination of course is is better in treating these infections the oregano and cinnamon are have antibacterial properties therefore they can be able to kill these bacteria that are causing infection and here is the procedure that you are going to use to make this treatment the other organic treatment is the oregano essential oil and the oregano essential oil contains calvacrol and daimol and these compounds are very effective in killing bacteria especially the Escherichia coli that we have seen causes this disease the dosage of the oregano essential oil that you are going to use is one ml into each half liter of the chicken's drinking water also after diluting this oregano essential oil using the half liter of water you can administer that water to the affected chicken via the mouth and as you make this organic treatment so that you can be able to deal with this egg yolk peritonitis in your ch layer chicken i also recommend that you hit the video that is on your screen right now so that you can be able to know the fastest organic layer chicken supplement